Good morning. I think I forgot to close out yesterday's video again. <laughs> I've just been getting to camp and so exhausted. Yesterday it was just, I was thirsty, so thirsty. When I seen that water, I just couldn't smile any bigger than I think possible. And there's just people there. And, and yeah, I got the water, chugged a whole liter and a half, and then stretched, ate dinner, and went to bed. Kuzi and Caleb were up top at the shelter and didn't even know I was there. So I walked up right before, like right around 9 o'clock and found them. So we're going 20 more miles as far as I know so far. We're going to Jenny's Knob Shelter, I think. Uh, it's not too bad. It's like 3,700 elevation. And this first starter hill is over 700. I got a half mile up left of this one and then there's one more big one and then it's kind of just whoop, 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 some puds puds pointless ups and downs if you don't know uh i'm gonna get moving because in the morning I, it's a, always a rough start for me at least for the first two to three hours i've noticed and yeah i don't know what i've got to do to change that because i've ate and i've drank some caffeine Maybe I just got to get up earlier and stretch and warm up somehow. I mean, I stretched a little bit this morning, but I definitely didn't do any, like, warm up. But the first couple hours are definitely killer. Or maybe just start the day on a flat surface. Like, make sure I end the day on top of a hill instead of starting with a hill. I don't know. So I was just down there, got... Two hot dogs, a bunch of coleslaw, a root beer, and a banana. And yeah, they had chili, onions, whatever you wanted to put on your hot dog down there. Chips, they even got beer, so if the others get there, they'll be happy. They will be happy. Plus trash, so you can get rid of that. Always nice, so I am uh, like four and a half miles in for the day. And it's like 9.30, so I don't have to snack this hour. Trail boss. Uh-oh. Got to beat him to get to the next level. Do -do 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 -do. Wonder what kind of loot we'll get. Maybe some better trail legs. That'd be sweet. Okay. So trail boss is right over there. Uh... I think the plan was we're all gonna group up and then uh, get together, pull out our trigger poles and Leroy Jake. <laughs> there is no boss here, but oh, he's not spawning. He's already been killed. Damn. I don't get many openings anymore. So. There you go. Whew, there's some big mountains still in Virginia, bro. Even though they're only like three to 4,000 feet. There's a few at five, I think. Like Roan was, but that was at the beginning and that was the highest. So some of these other ones are probably close to that, maybe. I, don't, I can't really tell from, from here. But trying to go down this one and then go up that one. Probably not that one. I think we've already been over that one, but who knows? Yeah, it's pretty bright out, but down there is Bland, Virginia. I don't think I'm going in there, but uh, Koozie and Pup are. Well, Caleb. And uh, yeah, they're going to stop by the Outfitters Resupply. I don't need anything. Uh, they, I did ask them to look for some Trailblazer Superfita insoles. I'm going to try those if they have them. And see if that improves the foot situation. I mean, I don't feel it today, actually. The last, uh, I've been cork balling a lot. And boy, uh, it's a little windy. Windy. But that's a good view. I was going to show you with me in it, but Jiminy Christmas, man. I don't know. My camera skills have depleted. All right, yeah. 
So Bland is uh, down that road, back that way three miles. So that was not Bland that way. Unless that road goes around to the other side. I don't know, but I don't need to resupply. I think I still have a good two days at least of food. And if not, I'll make it work. But we're walking between these ledges somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down there. Between the roads. And then we're gonna walk straight and probably over that. Who knows? I'll find out soon. It is pretty warm though. It is what? One o'clock? Yep, twelve fifty seven. So I'm trying to get back in the, the to the green tunnel. This feels weird. Been on this road for a minute, but there's so many hikers. I mean, a, a bunch of them just turned a corner down there, but there's so many on the road. You definitely know you're going the right way, and there's a couple blazes along the road too. So I know that's going to look awkward for a second, but I had to wave. <laughs> and there's so many southbounders today. I don't, it can't be like they got to be flip-flopping or something. I think the only southbounder that's even close was Aquaman. Right? Oh my goodness. I so got too much into the uh, hike. I blew right by the 600 mark. <laughs> half a mile. So I am currently going southbound. Half a mile back to just whatever's there. And to check in. The only problem is it's uphill. <laughs> yeah, it won't be too bad. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. My oh, goodness, I went all the way back. I forgot to video it. I did take a picture there though. I'm not going back again. I just realized after I left, I didn't take a video. I am really slacking on the videos lately. I, f I keep forgetting to close them out at the end of the day too. <sighs> So there's only like less than four miles to the shelter, but that will be like almost 23 miles. And it is five. So I did leave a little bit after seven. So I got my 20 in 10 hours. So that's a nice steady two miles an hour pace for 10 hours straight. And I'm thinking, thinking, I'm spitballing here, guys. There's only one big hill after Jenny's and then it's all downhill to Weary, which is 30 miles. I'm thinking about it. I was thinking about it yesterday and I was gonna leave a lot sooner, like two hours earlier, but then I was convinced that was way too much. But then they went into town and they're gonna be way behind anyway. And I figure I can get some extra for the heck of it. I don't know yet. I gotta redo this part of the trail and then get down the hill. This is what happens when it don't rain. I mean, the water situation is getting pretty grim around here. The last, I don't know, three days, man, everything dry. And I, I just came from that shelter. It was pretty dry up there. You had to scoop it. And I figured there'd be some more down here because in the notes as of uh, yesterday, it said there was a good flow. And now there's just a trickle. So I passed this one. I came back up a hill, point two. Oh. This will do though. I'll just be here for an hour filling up. <laughs> well, that sent me back a whole hour. I'm just now leaving that trickle. It's almost eight o'clock. And I think I made it to the shelter up there a little bit before seven. So that means, yeah, pretty much an hour. But you know what? I wouldn't have made it far without water. And so I've cameled up and I got two liters. There's no more water. I don't know for how long. But I'm only trying to go like another five or six miles. And like I, I don't know if I said, but there's a grocery store. And it will be closed by the time I get there. But you can tent there. And it will open at 8 o'clock tomorrow on a Sunday. And there's a deli. All kinds of stuff. And I think it will be right at the 30. 
if not it's really close and with my mile and a half backtracking today i am over 30 well i will be on according to my fitbit but it won't be actual 30 trail miles unfortunately i think i'd have to go up the hill past it and i'm not doing that because i want the deli sandwich for breakfast i can always count on power lines to get us some of a view oh, i missed the sunrise sorry it is a little bit after 8 30 and almost to the top of this last hill and the rest is down except for maybe half a mile up that last hill and what i'll do i'm definitely going to get 30. i'm going to go past the grocery store whatever it takes and then i'll just camp up there or whatever and then come back to the deli in the morning i don't know what got into me today don't know yeah it's dark i'm sure you can't see me and it's rocky as all can be not the best uh night hiking conditions but i did pass marathon mileage a little bit ago i'm at 26.5 so second marathon down in the books only three and a half miles to go and it is nine o'clock so i'm thinking 10 30. i mean this is all downhill from now on but it is like i said nasty so maybe a little bit before 10 30. who knows peace i don't know if you can see it but that deer down there scared the crap out of me I can't stop too long because the bugs start getting in your face. But when you turn this off, it is pitch black, man. Bzz. Everywhere. I'm doing a 360 right now. There's a little light over there because I'm about to, I'm thinking, get to the store. But, yeah, holy cow. He's still, there's a couple down there, actually. Where did you... Anyways, onward. This is nice and open. Wish it would, I wonder what it's like in the day, but the stars are nice. I know they're not gonna show up too well on the, but you can see the ridge, I think. Oh, I got like a mile left. Wow, if this ain't creepy, it's like a big suspension bridge. this yeah i don't know if i'm let me see if i can get the brightest setting on that makes a difference makes a little bit it's a pretty big but just a second ago and the others before i got on this bridge there was a loud rustle in the woods and then Three weird noises stopped me dead in my tracks. I just started saying, go away bear, because I had no idea what it was. I waited there for a little bit and then continued on. Hey, go figure, time my night hike, you get this big bridge. All right, it is 10.30 almost. And I just hit 30 miles. Now, the only there's a campsite 1.8 miles from here, so I'm gonna walk to that one unless I find a stealth spot before that. I was gonna go back to the grocery, but it's that's a walk back down that I don't think I need to do. So, and then you gotta walk down the road. I thought it was right on the trail, but it is not. So it's probably not that far down the road. I just, yeah. I'm already up the hill, so. <laughs> All right, just hit 11 o'clock. I am almost to 32 miles. And there's a waterfall up here, and it says there's a bunch of tenting sites on the blue blaze that leads down to it, and even down at the bottom. So I am gonna take that route and hope that they're not all full because I want to wake up next to a waterfall. I know, Mike tent will be soaked in condensation because this whole area is soaked in condensation 
and I'm not even close to it, but I can hear it. And I am very happy to be sending up my tent soon and I'm gonna have to stretch for like two hours. I can feel it. My Achilles, my left foot is starting to scream. Just a little longer. Not too bad though. Well, a lot better than I thought this was gonna feel. We'll have to see what tomorrow f holds though to really feel it. Not much at night. I found one spot there. A lot of them are taken. I'm not gonna mess around here <laughs> in the dark, but. I'd usually be all over the place. We'll do that in the morning when I can't walk. <laughs> 